Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Liam here and welcome to today's video on the channel. Now, in today's video, I have a different video for y'all, as you can tell, probably by the title. Now, right away, if you're clicking on this video, you're probably thinking like, Oh my god, Liam, you're quitting. And no, I'm not quitting, guys. I just really feel like I need to make a video like this for myself and my community. You know, I've made a couple of videos in the past, you know showing how grateful I am with, you know, hitting a thousand subs and I think even like 300 subs or something like that. And I just really wanted to have one video out where I just kind of talk to y'all about everything and reflect on the channel, you know, where things are going to go in the future and, you know, thank you guys basically for allowing me to do this and thank individual people as well. Meanwhile, in the process. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna have the background gameplay as my storm questing to level 50. I am working on some Grandmaster content for y'all on the channel coming up pretty soon here. So we should probably begin from the start. Well, you know, I've had a couple people stick around. I've had a couple people leave ever since I started the channel, you know. Some of you newer viewers probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but when I started my channel, uh, Liam is a vibe was Liam Isabel vibe, which basically Isabel was my girlfriend at the time. And, you know, our friend thought of the channel name and I thought it was cute and it had a, you know, a different meaning. Like Liam is a vibe, right? Like I'm a vibe. So I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, as you guys know, I think it's about eight months ago. Eight months ago now uh that you know that came to an end and um honestly if i didn't have her i probably wouldn't even have the channel y'all so as crazy as this is gonna sound and if you guys did watch that video uh back then i <laughs> i guess i want to say i don't know thank you to her i guess because honestly guys like you know what happened it happened yeah i know i didn't deserve any of that but at the same time i need to recognize that without her i would have probably never had the channel and she did help out with things in the past which you know i am grateful for and i'd also like to thank a couple of other people as well uh you know my mods you know important people that have been around since like 50 300 subscribers you know we got people like, you know, Big Al, Not a Bot. I know you guys, a lot of you know who Not a Bot is. Uh, Kermit, Lindsay. I like to say thank you to Shadow and Kev for uh, basically rebuilding the server. Both times it got nuked. The first one by, you know, Isabel in the first place. Uh, Kev managed to save about 75% of the Discord server and transfer that to a new one. And then that one got hacked and then shadow and i think bandit as well thank you to bandit uh they helped build the new one that we have now and yeah i just want to say that you know from the bottom of my heart whether we're friends or not i do really appreciate everybody who's helped me on my journey so far i may not talk to y'all all the time and it's not because i don't want to talk to you it's just i'm not really a social guy i'm not really <laughs> an emotional you know emotionally available guy at the end of the day you know i do try my best but um I, I really am grateful for everything you guys have done for me and if you ever do want to talk my dms are always open and i will try my best to help you through a tough time or help you with anything whiz or life related and just in general, you know, to the people as well, like <laughs> when I made this channel back then, I remember uh, seeing like 100 views in 24 hours and that used to make me so happy, you know, and I used to <laughs> put so much time into my old thumbnails and looking back on a couple of them, I might throw some up on screen right now for y'all to look at, but, um, you know, I, it's just... It wasn't that long ago. It's like a year and a half ago, almost two years now. And I just remember it all so clearly. And I was in such a different 
headspace in my life back then, guys. And I, it's just crazy. You know, I made the channel with Isabel. I just wanted to know if I gave it my all, if I worked like every day for a year, could I make YouTube happen, you know? And I mean, I'm not like, you know, 10 million subs or anything like that. You know, we got 3,000, uh, I think 3,300 roughly at the time. I'm recording this audio right now, which I'm extremely grateful for. That's like, to me, that's like more than enough. You know, I'm really, really happy with how far we've come. And what I'm honestly the most proud of in terms of the channel and myself, guys, and this is probably kind of off topic, but you know, I want you guys to know me and stuff like that is, you know, I've never had to sell out like, you know, other creators in the Wiz community or just any other YouTuber. I'm just very proud of myself that I never have sold out and I never will, you know? And the truth is like, I'm really not going to change, you know, that part of me and that part of the channel is never going to change for the longevity of things. And just on the topic of the friend thing in general, I've, I've had um, a lot of events happen the past year, as you guys may know, uh, whether it's like the Isabel thing, uh, a lot of my mods were leaving. I've almost died and my grandma almost died as well, all within the past eight months. So I've had a lot of time to reflect and just really get a different viewpoint of life this last year or eight months or so guys. And I don't know, I just thought it'd be really cool to sit down and talk to you guys about things. I feel like me as a person, like I said, I'm not really gonna change much you know i'm gonna always keep it real with y'all and i don't think i'm ever gonna be a guy who's ever buddy buddy or really you know friendly with everybody you know are there people i want in my life that i don't have and i'm grateful for yeah absolutely but at the end of the day it is what it is i only have a select few of friends that i know i can be a good guy for and I feel like if I have any more than those, like, you know, three or four friends, I feel like the quality of my friendship just skyrockets down or I just won't have enough time to uh, work myself and the content and my goals in real life, you know? And my goals and stuff like that is really important to me, but so is, you know, many friendships, you know? So it's been kind of tough for me, you know, especially the when my mods left because you know i mean bot in particular uh you know she means a lot to me she she helped me with my taxes actually one year it's just a tough spot because i'm really passionate about the work and improving myself but i also have a lot of friendships that you know really mean a lot to me and i feel like i never really say that and that's kind of again what this whole video is about for me, it feels like I either need to give up a part of myself, which is my, you know, goals and ambitions to have friendships, or I just have to stay the same. And honestly, I've been really happy lately, just, you know, having my select fewer friends and just, you know, working and grinding. I'm, you know, getting into kickboxing, I'm working out, starting to see some results. Uh, my face, you know, is not so bad with the acne. I know y'all used to make fun of me. <laughs> With like the acne or whatever on my face. Like I'm doing better guys. I probably will uh, start putting on the face cam again pretty soon. The reason I don't have it on right now is just because it's really annoying. It like flops around everywhere and like I'll get up and then it'll fall off the desk and like I'll break it. This is the second one I've had to buy so I'm kind of worried about that. Um, but I'll figure it out pretty soon. But honestly, guys, I've just learned a lot. Like, even just as a creator and not even as a person this past year. The, I, I've learned who I can and can't make videos on. I've learned who I should and shouldn't make videos on. I've learned a lot about, like, what you guys like to watch from, like, I don't know, YouTube analytics as well. Good work. There's just been a lot of growth for me, which I'm extremely thankful for, and it, it really is humbling. There are people I wish I treated better in the past and that are no longer with me, and there are people with me right now who, you know, I am actively working with to try to be a better person and a better creator. My mindset up until this point has just basically be do whatever the hell I want, but stay consistent. So what I'm talking about when I say that is like, I'll post whatever video I feel like posting, 
you know, um, whether, you know, it's PvP, commentary, a guide, what kind of PvP, whether it's like, I feel like something needs to be said, you know, like, I'm not going to bring this up specifically, but there was something that happened a couple of months ago that I got a lot of backlash for, but I did it because I thought it was the right thing to do. And, you know, that stems into PvP as well. Like, I have a lot of hot takes, obviously a lot of hot take opinions, but if I generally feel like the game is going to be a better place because of it, I will make a video on it. Don't really care if I get like flamed for it or other people make videos flaming me for that kind of thing. So that's what I mean when I say up until now, I just kind of done what I want. I haven't really cared about what other people have to say. And honestly, man, like as a creator on YouTube, like you really shouldn't, man. Like I have so many videos made, negative videos made about me. On youtube and i just don't care at all like i think i've watched one and i took feedback from one and i applied that to the channel which i guess is cool but like i don't just sit around and cry about it i'm still obviously gonna stay true to myself and keep working on the channel uh i'm try i'm gonna try to you know up the rate of the videos coming out and obviously try to improve the quality right now my pc is kind of bugged so I can't do some edits I want to, and I can't make YouTube shorts. I do want to make YouTube shorts because I know you guys want to see that here on the channel. And honestly, my goal for YouTube probably, I mean, I don't really have like an end goal in sight, you know? I don't have a set number of like, oh, I want to hit a million subs or 10,000. I mean, I, I do want to hit 10,000, I'll be honest, but I don't really have like a set goal or like 100k. I don't really have a, a set goal, you know? I just want to do what I like, enjoy what I do, uh, stay true to myself, you know, and, you know, just grow with you guys, most importantly. And I think that's been one of the harder parts for me as a creator and as a person is like, I'm not, I don't know how to put this. I feel like I'm, I'm not like a likable guy. Is that the right way to put it? I'm just, I'm very honest. I'm very blunt and I just say it how it is. I don't really care about people's feelings and I guess that isn't the best trait to have as a YouTuber but you know if I do want to grow I need to compromise and that's just the truth of the matter you know I think there is a way for me to balance you know being myself but then also being friendly and being emotionally available to other people especially people that are very close to me and have you know literally done my taxes and stuff like that you know so basically i'm gonna keep doing what i've been doing on the channel in terms of content i'm gonna try to up the quality get some shorts out for y'all uh i do read all your comments you know I, whether it's like the gear deck you know what kind of school i do read the comments guys and i do try to uh make my videos judge on what you say in the comments so if i don't you know make the video you're asking for there's probably a reason for that you know like the guides i've been asked to make more guides and gear guides but you know the meta is changing so often i feel like i need to wait until things settle down to make a gear guide that's actually helpful that stays around for some time and has some longevity basically so expect some shorts in the future expect some you know better quality in the future and i'm gonna try to uh, treat people better in the future as well whether that's you know my closest friends you know my mods or just you know just any of the viewers really i you know i'm really thankful for all of y'all and it's not like i ever took you guys for granted it's just like change takes time and i really hope i can grow out of this and obviously become a better person for y'all and just literally anybody in the future but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video i i know it's you know kind of emotional kind of something different you don't really see here on the channel but i uh i just figured it'd be a good video to make and you know something to talk about it's been on my mind for a while i hope you guys did enjoy and um yeah i will see you guys on the next one update should be this week looking forward to that thank you for watching and as always take care y'all